be making bases. What's good, YouTube? Be making bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. Definitely helps out the channel and the algorithm here on YouTube. So if you want to learn how to make room for artists in your beats, this is going to be the tutorial for you. Basically, I had this beat that um, I've been um, making on the channel actually here, and it's a pretty dope beat. Um, I just wanted to kind of point out some things that I'm doing in the verses to make room for the artist, okay? Now, if you notice here, actually you can count right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I kind of did like a double time as far as like um, on the counting, so it's gonna look like it's a little bit longer than what it should be as far as the beat, but everything's gonna make sense when we play it. So this is gonna be the intro. And that's a part of the hook. So what I want to talk about is the verses though, you know what I mean? So like, for instance, one thing you could do to start making room for artists is at different points in time in the verses, make sure you cut out some of the melody and just let this the beat play. Um, it could be like, also like the 808s, you could take those out, hi-hats, take those out. So listen to like how the beat starts off as far as the, um, you know, the uh, intro, excuse me, the verse. So, you know, you can see here, there's not a whole lot going on in the verse at first, when it first starts off. And then it's going to continue to build here. So we got the kick, we got the hi-hats, those type of things. And it's going to be building. Um, so it's going to keep on going. Then we're going to start adding more elements, but then we're going to switch up. The melody so like for instance instead of this melody we're going to swap out to this other one that we got going on here um and we'll bring in an 808 and then this is where we're going to really make some more room for the artists to shine at the end of these last basically kind of eight bars right here before the hook comes in. We're gonna cut out like a lot of the busy melody and then do like more of a basic melody. So we got that going and then like when we're ending this beat, um, I'm pretty much gonna cut out the 808 for a little bit and then cut out all the melody part and just let the uh, beat play. And as you can see out here, I went ahead and swapped out the uh, hi-hats and changed things up a little bit. Then we're going to end it off with the 808 coming back in. And that's just going to leave room for the artist. As you can see, I'm doing some of the same tactics here leaving room open for that artist to jump on here you know I, I don't have everything playing like sometimes i remember when i first used to track out my beats i would have like the melody playing throughout the whole verse felt like it kind of had to be there but just cutting the melody out at different parts cutting certain parts of the um you know drums out that's all going to make a difference when it comes to your beats and you know if if an artist going to want to jump on it so that's today's video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video